youtubers me and my Ford Transit again uh, it's freezing temperature outside so all of the problems uh, kind of gaining up on me so um, last Monday uh, when I had to rush to my pickup I had a rough start on my van I ran a tester real quick and it uh, popped the code P0100 and uh, when I googled it uh, the suggested repair was check the wiring and uh, and then basically it comes to wiring around mass airflow sensor which is going to be right here uh, by uh, by the filter air filter it's sitting over here so uh, since that I didn't have anything uh, in my hand either to replace it or change it or change it or clean it or whatever so it started up I cleared the cord was running fine the whole week so I don't know if it's gonna come back or not but I, I look up on them online this sensor by the way cost uh, like 120 130 dollars so pretty salty so my plan is to try everything uh, to to maybe fix it or clean it or whatever before I go to the hundred dollar hundred and twenty dollar option which is you know always on the table so uh, I look some stuff online and uh, uh, the cheapest thing you can do you buy this electrical cleaner do not use the WD-40 or stuff like that you gotta make sure that you use electrical connection in, in Walmart it costs like under five dollars so real cheap I mean really I mean you could use it I don't know maybe one time deal but five dollars versus 120 you know or 30 or whatever this is with my discount by the way so uh, it's probably going to be 140 50 for average buyer so uh, let's see how can you get it out and uh, uh, like I said right now I don't have the code everything's running fine but I don't want to have this problem on the road rather when I'm at home you know try to deal this, uh, with this problem or prevent this you know future problem First thing you do, you disconnect the switch, and to do that, you you pull up this red locking pin, pull it up, then push it over here on the front. You're not gonna be able to see that, but you push it. You push this this part over here to squeeze it, and you have this switch right here open for you. And those screws goes on the plastic, so they come out really easy. This is Torx 220, by the way, Torx 20, and really easy. Uh, to come uh, those screws uh, to get out really easy don't have to use the gun so you, you don't want to crack this thing and when you pull up see uh, there's one way uh, for this sensor to go and make sure you don't put it back this way I don't know even if it's gonna go that way but just remember the way you pull it up that's what it looks like and what we're gonna be working on I gonna be cleaning this little diode or sensor or whatever this thing is shoot it right there from both sides I don't know if you can get through that hole Don't touch it with your finger because people saying that you can actually break this thing. So now you wait until this thing dries up. I don't know, it should be a few minutes really. It's actually drying real quick. Do not put it in there wet. I don't know if you can see, but see it's like a last dot. See how fast it's actually drying. That's it. It, it took me, I don't know, looks like about only two, two minutes. So as you remember, the, this thing goes like this. Tie those screws. 
you don't have to crank it at all it's actually then put the plug back on and lock with the pin and that's it so uh, I guess I will write in the comment if this will solve my problem or if my problem will come up again but uh, I'm willing to try this repair this way hello youtubers update on my mass airflow sensor situation it's been two weeks and the cleaning did not work for me uh, last week when I was about to leave to pick up my new load on Monday or Tuesday I was unable to start my car or my van I ran it for maybe 40 minutes uh, put the jumper cable also on cool so I wouldn't kill the battery uh, spray the starting fluid disconnected and reconnected computer again I disconnected the mass airflow sensor um, I cannot tell you what at the end really made the difference but when it eventually started up it was started up and dying started up and dying started up and dying for maybe I don't know two minutes maybe five minutes and then eventually when it started up it was running like really rough like a few cylinders out of six were misfired misfiring when after a little bit of running rough like that it evened out like that I actually went on and bought a, a new sensor a new mass airflow sensor basically went for plan B I replaced it since then it's running fine when I came back home I took it to dealership for diagnostics to find out what happened they said there's no codes stored nowhere in the system that would actually have somehow could be tied up to this so I really don't know I mean I I cleared the code with my little code reader it still shouldn't get stored at the ECM the vehicles computer it didn't for some reason when I said what's the problem uh, so potentially could be flooding or whatever uh, but they said that this sensor could be the problem so I really don't know uh, at this point cleaning did not work for me I had to replace a sensor and uh, I've been actually running on new sensor whole week without turning the engine off even on the gas stations uh, I ran for uh, about 3,000 miles uh, last week and uh, on the new sensor uh, I didn't run this over the weekend so I don't know right now it's starting right up but hey, anyway I had to change the mass airflow mass airflow sensor cleaning did not work for me